What's up, YouTube? FSP. Here in the rainy state of Alakabami. Uh, hope y'all are all doing well today. Still raining. So, I'm hoping the rain quits and the sun comes back out. And there's any time when it's raining, my internet could die at any time. So, if the stream goes away, there probably ain't a whole lot I can do about it. <laughs> But uh, we will give it a valiant effort to try to get back in if something like that happens. But nine times out of ten, when the internet's out, it's out. And ain't nothing that can be done. It's that bitch at the provider. What's up, Paul Scott? KP Heathen, first in the house today, as always. Gil Morgan's in the house. Penny Pension Prepper. My buddy, my friend. We are resistance. What's up, Joey? Good to see you, man. Uh, Miss Sharon, good to see Miss Sharon in the house. Uh, thanks again to all my mods, uh, Celtic Grandma, Miss Sharon, those uh, Lisa Anderson, those who are, the, who are your uh, fabulous people decked out in blue there. We do appreciate them, what they do. Bug Out Adventures, hello, hello. Good to see you. Enjoyed your live this morning. Uh, uh, so good to see everybody in the house today. I'm going to get rid of that first comment there. Yep, good to see everybody in the house today. Uh, the dogs did get a chance to go outside. They get they were outside for about an hour and a half, and then the rain come back, so they're back inside now. Uh, did hear some thunder rumbling around. I don't know four this morning i reckon so i reckon we did have a few thunderstorms come through but uh if it weren't for rocky i probably wouldn't have woke up but the dog uh the border collie does not like thunder at all so he gets uh, a little uptight when thunder is around good to see you joey um uh, so yeah hey copycat how are you hope you're doing well i missed anybody Ronnie Brown. Good to see you, Ronnie. All right. So, uh, what's everybody been up to? How you been doing? Uh, for those of you who were over on the Silver Channel yesterday, I apologize for cutting the live short. My bike was killing me. Uh, and I was cutting wait to get those mail calls done so I can go get back in my chair. Uh, so, yeah. Just wanted to say that. Uh, sometimes my back gets, gets hurting and ain't nothing I can really do about it. <sighs> Sent you a message, JM. Oh, I hope you could be an impersonator. Been trying to get my harmonic balancer off my car. Ooh, that's a job. That's a job. You just, sometimes you have to beat them things off. Yep. Good to see Copycat in the house today. Penny Pinch and Prepper around. Uh, yeah. Yeah, wet doggy smell can find in small spaces. No fun. You're great. Uh, but their uh, their feet are wet right now. But that's about it. So they uh, as soon as it starts sprinkling, he wanted to come back in. They were scratching at the door, so I actually got them in before they got wet from the rain again. So yeah, uh, Joey is a uh, well. I clicked the wrong one. Here we go. Joey is a mechanic. And uh, he might be able to tell you something you could try there, KP. Uh, hit him up there on the, or let him know what you're working on, I guess. What's up, Canadian? Good to see you in the house, man. Nothing shaking here, but just a bunch of rain. Uh, I just, I, I know we need rain, but uh, I hate it when it just rains all day. If it rained at night, that'd be fine. But, uh, you know, cause I like to be outside doing stuff. 
a uh, little uh little uh, gardening report i do have some seeds popping out i did go and check on those yesterday and my little starter cell set so uh i noticed we had some uh some lettuce popping out and some uh purple cone flowers were starting to pop and uh it looks like my peppers were uh starting to pop as well so we'll have some little plants to plant here sometime soon if it's a bouncer i'd say go get a wheel puller right you know working paying taxes somebody got to pay for all the free shit right canadian yeah i hear you brother um Thank you. Uh, 2007 Mustang 4.0 got a broken bolt. Huh. Is there any way you can weld, like grab a nut from something else and weld a nut on there and use a wrench and wrench it off? uh something my dad used to do quite a bit when something broke off would weld a nut on there and just use a wrench on the nut sometimes that'll work sometimes it won't i'm kind of shocked by next week we could be hitting 80s here in alabama that would be uh that would be all right for me as long as the sun's out you know uh we got a camping trip planned and so uh, we're looking forward to getting together and just just bro time you know just uh do a little uh camping a little survival stuff a little maybe a little filming i don't know that i'm really gonna film a whole lot but i'm just ready to get outside and uh and mother nature and uh i'll have to embrace the suck you know sleeping on the ground sucks but uh something needs we need those reminders you know and it's good to get the, the gear out go through our kit, see what's going to work, see what don't, you know. Uh, I've done that several times with my kit, but, you know, you always come away from a camping trip learning something about your gear, so that's always a good thing. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to uh, camping with a penny pinch of prepper, most definitely. And I think we're even going to make a trip to the FFL as well, so looking forward to just hanging out with my buddy uh hey just me thinking you think bridge on water would be made to take a hit from a boat well depending on how old it is yeah i did hear about the uh somewhere up north forgive me uh all that stuff up there i think it's in boston or somewhere i don't have no idea where it was at it's like once you get past kentucky it's all yankee land to me i have no idea where everything's at but uh uh i did hear about a bridge falling down but the thing is you don't uh, the francis scott key bridge i don't know how old it is you know uh and there's a lot of these bridges a lot of this infrastructure that hasn't been getting service and maintenance uh yes there you go pin pinch preppers i hear you buddy so yeah how old the bridge is and if it's been maintained or not would be a lot, you know. That should be enough for him to get a small gear puller in there. Unfortunately, you may need to pull out the radiator, but the bolt broke off. You don't have much choice, right? So there's just some, uh, maybe that'll help. But I do know on broke off bolts, of course, this may be a different instance, but uh dad be working on something and break a bolt off he'll just take and tack a, a nut to it weld a nut to it and just wrench it off uh something he's done before depends upon the situation really you have, you have to know we're too worried about what's going on in the other countries so we don't fix our own stuff amen can they uh copycat right uh they should be maintaining it if it had traffic right they should have been um but regardless uh hey little old prepper good to see you regardless uh pray for those who were who were on the bridge when it went down uh you know i don't know a whole lot about it i know there's possibly people trapped in vehicles and stuff like that underwater so bad situation all the way around 
pray for those folks. They were people going to work, you know, people were coming home from work, whatever it was. Uh, definitely pray for those folks that are in that situation. That is full on SHTF if you're in that situation. Absolutely. And uh, uh, reminds us, always good to have those window breakers on a knife or something like that. Uh, be able to bust your window out, cut your seatbelt off and all that kind of stuff. Good to have that kind of gear too. Escape gear, I guess you call it. They turned down the idea of putting bumpers on it because it's too expensive. Well, yeah, of course, Ronnie. That makes perfect sense, buddy. Uh, KY Survival 76. Good to see you, buddy. The bridge was made in the early 70s. Funny. This happens a week after Moscow, right? Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I think CIA is behind what's going on in Moscow or what went on in Moscow, the terrorist attack. I believe our CIA is behind that, but that's just me. There's it's too many uh, convenience factors going on in that. Good to see KY in the house. Little on prepper. Uh, I wanted to speak to you for a minute. Uh, good to see you. I was the one that spotted the uh, the uh, misappropriated word in, in uh, Penny Pension Prepper's comment. Uh, so I'm glad y'all, uh, y'all, uh, you know, I'm glad you didn't think that was on purpose. That was awesome. Uh, and I even doubted myself after I told him, he's like, what? I'm like, well, it may have been my eyes. Maybe I saw something wrong, you know, but yeah, he uses, uh, voice to text or whatever. And it, it messes up all the time. Even everyone, CIA created ISIS. ISIS is taking land from Moscow. Well, there you go. See, that's what I'm saying. What is diaries in the house? Good to see PJ, another good friend of mine. We've been uh, chit-chatting on the phone a little bit. Good to see her. Uh, met her at the store a couple of weeks ago. So I've actually met her face-to-face. -face. Pretty cool. Uh, good to have friends on, on YouTube that you actually meet in everyday life. Very, very cool. I'm loving it. So, uh, Thank you, Miss Sharon, for posting all the links. Joe says, other dude in attacks, face was shattered, right? Yes, computers do that to us sometimes, little on prepper, they sure do. Uh, Putin commented, ISIS attacks, uh, uh, the enemies of the U.S., right? Yeah, I think somebody's behind that. We all know who it is, I think. So, yeah. Sorry, I'm seeing what everybody's typing here. Uh, thank you again for the links. Thank y'all. Let's see. Say what you will about Russia, but they beat the brakes off a of fool. Yeah, they did. And you know what? Deserving of it as well. Absolutely. You know, somebody, I mean, somebody attacks my family or, you know, or, you know, we should have did something similar with all these people who crashed planes into the uh, trade towers and all that. But that's just my opinion. Uh, whatever. We'll get off of that. <laughs> Yeah, go check out Penny and Pension Prepper's channel. Uh, he's been inactive for a little while, but he's got a couple of new videos up, so definitely go check that out. Uh, and I think he'll be working on a new one while we're camping as well. Uh, yeah, KP Heathen's Garden is doing awesome, man. He must have started pretty dang early. I hear you, KY. Uh, Yeah, uh, yeah, I know. They were pissed. They they had every right to be pissed, you know. No doubt. Preparines, what's going on? Howdy, howdy! Welcome on in. 
I like my Russian massage therapist, just saying. <laughs> I don't have a massage therapist, so, uh, yeah. But, uh, hey, you got one you like? Awesome. I've never had a massage, ever. Uh, like my, I was going to read that. Good to see proper range in the house. Miss Sharon is wonderful. Let me take a swig of sweet tea here. <sighs> yes, good to see preparations in the house. Absolutely. So, as far as prepping this week, I haven't really done any. I did buy a couple more pieces of silver. You know, shocker. Uh, I got one in yesterday. It was a 64 Kennedy half dollar, and I got another. It's a Mexican coin coming, but it's got some silver content in it as well. Always a good idea to have some silver. Uh, and perhaps a little, uh, let's see which side this is on here. Doesn't matter. A little piece of gold as well. So, not bad things to have if you've got all your preps. You know, uh, if you don't have food and water and all the basics, then you should do that first because uh, you're not going to be able to. You're not going to be able to trade silver for uh, for food. That's not going to happen. People get it in their minds. I can just trade silver for food. People who are how people who are starving ain't gonna have no use for silver, and uh, that I understand. He thinks there's gonna be a T attack at the eclipse. Yeah, I've been hearing all kind of stuff about that prep range. Now that you bring that up, I've heard a lots of things about that. Uh, I've heard uh, MCE, you know, mass casualty event. Uh, I've heard some things. And if you're going to wherever the full totality is, Arkansas, Oklahoma, Texas, that area, just be careful. Keep your eyes open. Keep your eyes peeled if you're going to that. Uh, we'll be able to see 80% blockage here where I'm at. You know what? That's good enough for me. It ain't like I can get out and go anywhere anyway. I'm kind of stuck where I am. Uh, but, uh, yeah. I've heard lots of things, and I don't want to mention what I've heard, but not good. Not good things at all. And uh, things involving illegals and people who are already here in the country, stuff like that. It's a perfect scenario. It explains why the M is going to be there with their sunglasses, right? Yeah, it does. It makes a lot of sense. Let me get that comment off of there. Green thumb preference in the house. Yeah, anytime. PJ's got a point here. Uh, you know, something could kick off anytime. Uh, you got all these Chinese people here, uh, military age males. You've got all these, uh, you know, all these illegals that, that, you know, from all these prisons from all these other countries. And I mean, bad things can spark off pretty quick. Just carry, you know, you know, have a way to protect yourself. Night vision, not Navy, damn it. <laughs> Let me see what Joe said up here. If they uh, were wearing that vision, they would have a rough time. Their eyes will burn, right? Yeah. I've looked at them and stuff with, uh, you know, dad's got all kind of welded hoods and stuff. And uh, so I just go down there and borrow a welding hood and look at, you know, if I want to look at the eclipse or whatever. But, you know, last time I looked at an eclipse, I think I was 17 years old. So once you've seen a few, it, it's whatever. Doesn't matter. Bear truth, good to see. It's a rainy one, bear truth, but uh, it is what it is, brother. You know, we're we're just here dealing with it. 
Quit licking your feet, dog. God, that aggravates me. Just lick his feet like it's I don't know, like a lollipop or something. They do that when they're bored. My dogs do. And especially the border collie. He's a he's a foot licker. Good boy. Uh, it's dark in the eclipse, so if they put on night vision goggles, they would have a bad time, right? FSP and had phone issues. Had to start a new channel. It happens, brother. Well, uh, good to see you, Eric. It happens. Trust me, I understand phone troubles. Uh, I made a statement uh, when I started this live. It is raining, and anytime it's raining, my internet can die, and there ain't really a whole lot I can do about it. Uh, so, yeah, good to see Barry Truth in the house. Yeah, you can get a wrench, buddy. I, I'll get you one. Let me see if I I don't think I can do it in StreamYard, bud, but I'll get you one. Star comment. Nah, I can't do it over here. I'd have to do it in YouTube. But I'll, I'll get you another one, mate. Ain't no problem. Uh, so, yeah, I understand technical difficulties. I sure do. Paydays is coming up soon. Of course, Easter, Holy Week. Uh, it's Holy Week. Uh, big, 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 big deal for Christians. And uh, can't wait for Sunday morning. We have a sunrise service. That's S O N, not S U N, in case y'all were wondering. Uh, we have a sunrise service. Uh, it's at 6 30 Sunday morning. And we usually do it outside if it's not raining uh, out there at the cemetery. So, something I always look forward to every year uh, having the Lord's Supper and all that. It's a big special do so at church. So, uh, I love church. Church is like one of the major highlights of my week. And I love the Lord. And, uh, so looking forward to uh, looking forward to Easter Sunday, Resurrection Sunday, definitely. I think in the Middle East you're gonna kick off real hard. Come pass over Israel sacrifices red heifer, right? Yeah, there's all that too. Sure is. Good Friday is a holiday up here. Well, it's it's I know people have different meanings of Good Friday, but yeah. Uh, Good Friday is a holiday here as well, or if, if it ain't, it should be. Uh, churches will be uh, targeted through Passover. I don't doubt that either. I am on the security team. I do carry a weapon. I got me and a couple of army vets and my pastor. We all carry it at church, so don't think that ain't in my mind too, you know, definitely. But I appreciate you bringing it up. Uh, meat, it's what's for dinner. I used to love to go to Sunrise Service. You spelled it right, little old prepper. That's right. I've seen it spelled S-U-N on some churches, and I'm like, y'all worshiping the wrong sun. <laughs> it's just, I don't know. It just irks me. Everyone should carry at church or otherwise. Yeah, amen, Joe. I agree. Uh, I know uh, I know uh, PJ uh, Willis Diary, she carries everywhere. Me and her both was carrying the day we met at the store. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, don't think I don't realize that. Churches are going to be targeted. Uh, any kind of huge Christian event, Christmas time, things where people get together, yeah, they're always planning stuff on stuff like that. Now, most of the time, it's in a huge city somewhere. but. Uh, I ain't forgotten that Texas church shooting. I haven't forgot that at all. So we be prepared over here. I carried my living room laughing out loud. Yep, yeah, don't blame me. Uh, maybe back ribs. <laughs> Have you seen the new commercial now where he goes, it's about the three for three, man. <laughs> Pretty funny. Teresa. Is that Teresa Buchanan? Hey, Teresa. How are you? Hope you're doing well. Good to see you. Chair Bear's in the house. Good to see you, Chair Bear. Permit. 
infidel. <laughs> Green thumb, it's becoming more than just whispers. I've scared more than one set of Mormon missionaries. I don't doubt that, Joe. I don't doubt that. Good to see everybody in the house today. Lord, we got 19 in here. That's record-breaking stuff for a thousand subscriber channel. 19 people in the chat. Pretty good. I know. It makes no sense, but that's the way it always is. <laughs> Chair Barry, good to see you. I'm going back up through chat, see if I miss anything. There were some meat eaters around here. Matter of fact, Dad's got one in the uh, corral or the catch pen, whatever you call it, where you are. We call it catch pens. Most people call them corrals. Uh, but uh, Dad's uh, got a steer in there. He's fattening it up right now. We'll be uh, eating some fresh meat soon. Yeah, appreciate it. Uh, thank you, Copycat. Everybody hit the like, the thumbs up or thumbs down. Lurking and getting things done. That's what it's all about. I was uh, cooking this morning during Bug Outs Live, and uh, I kept having to run from the stove back to the phone because Bug Out kept asking me what I was fixing and all that stuff. <laughs> so, yeah, it was interesting, but uh, I enjoyed it. I had my fried eggs and my bacon and my buttered toast, and I was happy, happy, happy. Still am. So, yeah. Buttered toast, not margarine. Let me get that right. Margarine, uh, from what I understand, is a molecule away from being plastic. That stuff's not good. Colorado gun laws are going the way of California economy. Uh, after I am dead, I can't give my guns to my sons. Can you believe this shit? I do believe it, man. I do believe it, and it is shit. I agree. That is some BS, man. Sounds like you need to move towards the free states. Now, I would not tolerate that. I know moving's not an easy thing to do, but I'll be damned. Uh-uh. Hey, I saw your replies on bug outs. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Oh, yeah. I stayed up till, I don't know, one thirty, And then once I go to bed, sometimes I can't go to sleep. And I'm laying there praying, thinking, whatever. Sometimes the old noggin just won't shut off and let me get some sleep, you know. Of course, sometimes my back's hurting, too. Five hours a day taking care of stuff to monetize my channel. Awesome, brother. Awesome. Uh... I'm not monetizing mine. That's not what I'm in it for. Uh, but, you know, from what I hear, it's it's pennies anyway, what you get for what you're putting into it. And uh, the soon, as soon as they monetize you, they're going to decide, you can't say that, you can't do this, you can't show that. So I'm not into the monetization. Hey, Miss Metal. Uh, yeah, I have a cure for that. Well, your chat is rolling today. Get a headache in the morning. Right. Yeah, I know. You, you keep thinking of alcohol as a cure, Joe. You're going to have more issues. I'm telling you, man. I lived in Colorado for one year to build a house for my sister-in-law, a strange place on the right of the people. Just saying. Right? Spags. Another good channel right there. Spags Unfiltered. Good to see you, buddy. Hey, hey, hey. It's Spags Unfiltered. You thought I was going to say Fat Albert, did uh, Good channel. All these folks in the in the chat are uh, channel uh, content creators. Check them all out. Sub them all up. And don't just sub them. Go over there and watch the videos. You might like them. Pretty good content creators in here. Uh, let's see what Joe said. What was that? I'm two days sober, been sick enough to die. Trust me, I understand. Yeah, I know, man. I know you're going through purity hell right now. But you you got to know it gets better. And uh, that's the thing. 
once you go through all the detox and all that stuff and you finally start getting better, you're not sick anymore, you take another drink, it all starts again, man. That's why I've been sober since 2006, dude. Uh, don't want to have to go through that shit again. I've been through it uh, with drugs and alcohol and everything else, man. It's not cool. Not cool at all. And it ain't fun. Trust me, I get that. New Morgan had upset some Mormons by telling them their rituals and the Masonic symbols in their underwear smacks the paganism. They never return. <laughs> yeah. Good on you, little old rapper. Good on you. Let's see what KY says. I just think it's a shame you can't hold someone uh, without repercussions. It is a shame. Uh, posted another uh, video on the community tab by Hands On Channel this morning. Man, I agree with everything you said. It, it was really good. Go there, check it out. The Hands On Channel. Uh, excellent. Uh, shop talks are really good. I, I, He's dead on with what he's saying. I what can I say? I disagree with everything he says. Uh, Joe alcoholism is one of those that you can die from withdrawals. Be careful; it might have been best for you to just cut back the bit first. It it is uh, quitting cold turkey is dangerous, uh, but it, if you're ever going to be off of it, you got to do it. it. You know. Get some help. Maybe get a friend to stay with you. I don't know. That might contribute to the alcoholism. But, uh, you know, you, you got it, man. You got it. Joe, you got it. And the good Lord's got you. You can do it. It's going to suck. But you can do it, man. Oh. Uh, yeah. Let's see. It's hard to seal them that way. Better bust out the blowtorch. Okay, my people, stay safe and head on the swivel. We ain't coming. All right, B Rains. They're here, right? That's a good point. They're not coming. They're here. They're already here. And they've already got plans in the works. Believe you me. Like we were talking about on the, uh, the eclipse lane. Definitely be careful. Risky was saying that uh, happens lately when I mentioned earlier that it wasn't sub to Hudson Valley. Guess we have to watch for that. Yeah, YouTube uh, unsubs people all the time. I get unsub from people all the time. Uh, I recently had to resub the Woods Diary because I thought I could swore I subbed to her at one point in time that they unsub me or something happened. So things like that does happen. I don't understand it. Head on a swivel, man. Yep, absolutely. I think the only sober friends I have here are dead. The rest are still in the drug trade. Yep. And that should that should show you a little something about where people like that end up. Just just take it as Lord showing you, you know, what your future could be. I know you're doing everything you can, man. Just stay with it. Stay with it, brother. It's it's a worthy cause. It really is. It's a worthy cause. Uh, and I understand you may have to go to the doctor and get on some some sort of uh some pain meds or something for for your other problems, but uh, you know. Dad does the same thing. He's, he self-medicates with alcohol, and it's not good. I've called him out on it several times, and he'll stop for a while, and he's back in it again, you know. Uh, take care, my brother. Talk to you later. Okay. Y'all, uh, have a good one, Penny Pinch Pepper. God bless you, buddy. See you soon, man. See you soon. Looking forward to it.
I had 60 subs. They took 16 away. Uh, yeah, I've noticed on my silver channel, uh, I was at 315, and uh, then I was at uh, 312, then I was at 316. Uh, it's just all over the place. And my sub count's different every day. It's different every day. People unsubscribe, or YouTube is unsubscribing them, one, one or the other. Probably the latter. I say we do the P. Diddy. What's he talking about? And go to the Caribbean. Yeah, yeah, they don't do notifications either, PJ. You're right. One day at a time. Absolutely. We were talking to Tomcat about that the other night. Unsub, resub, click on notifications. Again, that usually fixes it for me. Okay. Some good advice, sir, Chair Bear. Appreciate it. Kane Corso named Mr. Fuzzy Nuts to go play with Pete. Kane Corso was a mean, they're pretty tough dog. Uh, yeah. Have a good day, Penny Pinch Prepper. That's about the Prepper and Survival is having the Too Soon to Tell Tuesday tonight, in case you don't get a notification for it. There we go. We've been duly notified. Teresa, thank you. I'll try to get over and check that out if I'm not busy doing something else. Uh, definitely. Go over there and support uh, Hudson Valley Prepping and Survival. They're a uh, good, good crew over there. The latest thing I watched over there that I enjoyed, they were, uh, they were doing like taste battle wars or something with uh, prepper food, dry, free dried food. They were tasting different ones and ranking them, and that was pretty good. I enjoyed that. Uh, so definitely some good content over there. It's working for a community tab. Uh, you know, I was at 500 and something before I got a community tab. They give them away people with 40 subscribers now. If you don't have a community tab, I don't know why that would be. That's messed up. Good to see you, Teresa. I know I'm behind on comments, y'all. I'm trying to work on it. That's will skip on down here. Good Lord. <clears throat> yeah, it, it was, uh, we got a little storm here. Some little thunder bumpers moved through about 4 o'clock this morning or something like that. Uh, the only reason why I heard them is because the dog woke me up. Uh, this border collie's stupid scared of thunder, and he don't like gunfire and fireworks either. He's, he's uh he has issues with loud banging noises, uh, and thunder is one of those. So yeah, if not for him, I probably would have slept right on through it. I sleep good in the rain. Yeah, we are recent said he started with a community tab. See, I, I was at uh. I was at 550 something. Uh, of course, I've been on here for four years, but uh, when I started out, I didn't get a community tab for a long time. I was using Instagram as a community tab for a while because they wouldn't give me one. I was begging for one. They wouldn't give me one. And they finally got it. Yeah, the wind was blowing. We were under uh, you know, some sort of wind advisories all day yesterday and this morning. Uh, looks like I've been outside. Uh, the wind has died down considerably. It's still blowing a little bit, but uh, I think most of the system has moved through. And uh, actually, it looks like it might be uh, the sun might be out a little bit. So that's a good that's good news. We need the sun to dry all this rainwater up so we can go camping next week. Not gonna be fun sleeping in a tent in the water. Boob TV screw in the chains. The rules faster than a divorce lawyer, right? Oh, uh, this was like two years ago. Crazy windy today in Ohio. Sent me a message, told me at 50 subs. So, yeah. Yeah, they, they've just, they've changed the way they do things. You know, 
trying to think what year I started. It was 2020 when my channel started. It was the latter part of the year. It might have been even December when my channel started in 2020, but 2021, I was begging for a community tab. They wouldn't give me one because they said I wasn't, uh, I don't know, I forgot the word they use. I wasn't valid enough for, for some reason. I'm like, okay, whatever. I finally got it though, at 500 and something. Pennsylvania preparedness. I was paying attention for prepper. He's back. Uh, Joe got you. I wasn't even on YouTube at that time. I know when I started a little over a year ago, it was only 50. Yeah. My little piece of a dog You should try to push her away into my head when there was any loud noise around. Yeah, they just, uh, some dogs just don't do well with loud noises with a long prep. Rain in here, did all night. Yeah, it rained all night here. But it didn't rain, it didn't start here till probably after midnight. But it, after that, it rained all night and uh, all morning. I mean, it was raining when I come in here, it started loud. It was still raining. It was, you know, a light rain, but still raining. You've been on since 2015. Wow. Uh, yep. Yeah. My channel only four, three or four years old, I think. My uh, Minecraft in my lap. And he ain't so little. Minecraft? There you go. That voice of speech again. Uh, yeah, uh, Pin Pin Pepper got some pretty big dogs as well. Been on YouTube since 2015. All right. 15 in the chat. Been going for 35 minutes. Cool. Cool. Oh, man. I can tell it's starting to get darker a lot later in the day now, uh, big time. Noticing a big difference on that. So it won't be long. It won't be getting dark till nine. Of course, it'll be a hundred degrees in daytime. Everything I'll be wanting to do would be at night. All right, Eric, no problem. Half husky and half blue wheeler. Going to eliminate my rabbits and chickens. So <laughs> this is my fourth channel and another I taken down for speaking on the truth. Right? Yeah. Uh, that's why I have a backup channel. Uh, well, before the Silver Channel ever started, I had the backup channel and Camo Patriot because I, I seen what was going on with everybody else, and I thought I'm gonna, I'm gonna eventually do it. They're gonna eventually get bad. I haven't yet. We'll see. Mine was about four and a half pounds. Yeah. Uh, Rocky's my smallest dog, and he's 40-something pounds. Forty. Last time, he was 41 pounds at the vet. Ripper is uh, 60, 60 pounds, 60, 65, somewhere in there. And it's been a while since he's been to the vet, so I'm not real sure. Thank you, Miss Sharon, for posting the backup channel. That's the backup channel there, Camo Patriot. I try to keep that channel going. I put dog videos and crap over there. <laughs> So if you're wondering what kind of content is over there, it's mostly me and the dogs or whatever. There's some prepping stuff over there too, a little bit. Well, I guess I'll never get it then when the wood is there. Yeah, they ain't big on the truth at all. They don't like the truth, that's for sure. How dare you speak the truth and not follow the Biden media plan? How dare you? Oh, boy. Speaking on that, I got something I want to talk about. I watch a local, uh, a local news station here in my state. They put out stories on YouTube, and I caught one of them. It was about... Uh, Dairy farms in the state of Alabama are diminishing rapidly. 
And the title of the uh, story was Why Are Dairy Farms Disappearing in Alabama? Uh, they did no research on why it's happening, but they went to a dairy farm and interviewed the people there and all that. Uh, but uh, boy, the people in the ch the people leaving comments on that on ABC thirty three forty were leaving comments on that story, and uh, yeah, people were ripping them for not not telling the truth and not. And I got in there and said my piece about it too. I'm like, yeah, government's cracking down on farmers, or didn't you know? Look at all the Amish people. Look what's going on in uh, in Oregon right now. Uh, they're trying to crack down on people. Uh, fending for themselves and having their own food and their own products to eat. They're cracking down on that crap big time. I got in there and said all that. I was pissed off. And then somebody else said, y'all didn't even answer your own question. What kind of uh, what kind of news is this or something like that? And I got in there on nerves and I commented. I said, they're on the Biden media plan. So, yeah, our own news stations are woke as everything else. Hey, Tracy Tatum, what's going on? Metal for breakfast. Good to see you, bro. Uh, see what I missed here. Because you're not monetized, Jerry, but they are cracking down on channels like ours now. Oh, yeah, they definitely are. Yes, they want us to be a bunch of soy boys, absolutely. Sorry for no, not no notification. Uh, Tracy, that's not my department. You have to look at YouTube for that. But uh, you're here now. No problem. So, yeah. I love dogs of any side breed. I think they are one of the best gifts God ever gave to us. Fully agreed on that one. I like my doggies. That's a lot of times what me and PJ talk about on the phone. She's you know, we live alone and we have dogs. So we talk about dogs a lot. Uh, how we live our puppy dogs, our fur kids. <laughs> Unsub, resub, click on notifications again. Yeah, you may have to do that, uh, Tracy. That's a good advice. You can try that. I got aggravated with it when they pulled uh, my last vid over the new scope. Said I was uh, promoting gun sales. That's bullshit. Thousand gun channels on here, right? That's complete BS. Man, it just yeah, it jerks my chain. Ah. Uh, So, yeah. That is some absolute bullshit. 100% agree. Yeah, no. Bullshit. But you're not following the Biden uh, media plan, so you, you can't say what you want. That's how it works now. If you're with Biden, hell, you can go bash some, somebody over the head with a beer bottle and kill them. Doesn't matter as long as you're on the Biden plan. But, uh, I mean, you know, Charlie, bro. <sighs> I'm trying not to get into that subject. I will. They will kick me off of here. The views were coming fast on that one. I had 1,500 views before they hit it. Right? Yeah, I agree. I was asleep the other morning when here comes, jumps on me, puts his foot in my mouth. Down he went very quick. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's weird how that happens. Oh, yeah. Better be an empty beer. Yeah. I just use that as a coincidence because I did that one time. I did. I bashed them out in the head with a beer bottle and knocked them out. They didn't die, of course, but I knocked them out. Huh. 
<laughs> way more than me. Wow. I was waiting to see if Rip Curl Redness was going to show up, pop in here. He'll be in here in a minute, four to three minutes. They don't do the same thing to pinball over his last arm he bought. Yep, I remember that too. Pro tip, a glass of Daniel's bottle was smarts. Glass Daniel's bottle, yeah. I think all the ones I have are plastic. But you probably have to buy a gentleman jack now to get a glass bottle. Everything's in plastic nowadays. And it depends on what state you're in. The ones I buy, the Jack Daniels is in the plastic bottles here in Alabama. All right, uh, Joey, good to see you, brother. Appreciate you being here, man. Check you later, man. God bless you. Uh, we are the Resistance. He has a great channel over there. Go over and check him out. He does Foo Bar Fridays and uh, uh, SHTF scenarios and stuff over there. Definitely go and check him out. She got an awesome channel over there. Yep. They said why it would be 112, 115 to 125. Yeah, I like Roddy's too. Roddy's are good. I like dogs in general. I prefer the two I got because they're easily, they're, uh, Certain breeds, the working breeds, are way easier to train. They're more intelligent. They're also more loyal, if you ask me. Uh, the German Shepherds, the Border Collies, uh, I'm trying to think of all the dogs that are in the working breed, Aussies, uh, Blue Heelers, or Australian cattle dogs, whatever you want to call them. The working breeds are the smartest ones, if you ask me, but that's just my opinion. And they're just easier to train, easier to deal with. They're eager to please their masters. That's what I like about them. Since we're talking dogs. They would take turns uh, stocking their nose on my eyelids in the morning. <laughs> Rocky will get down, because he usually sleeps on the bed with me. He'll get down off the bed and... My feet typically hang just about off the bottom of the bed. And he'll just take and shove his nose into my foot and it wakes me up. That's how he wakes me up when he's got to go out. He'll just shove his nose into my foot. I like, wake up, damn it. I got to go out. Yeah. Huskies are big dogs. Definitely. Huskies would be big dogs. My dad has one of those. Uh, damn, I forget the name. Every time. One of them big white dogs that watch over the cattle. Uh, I forget the damn name of it every time, but that sucker's got to be 150, 200 pounds. It's a huge dog. It breeds with you. My daughter wants a Malamute. Malamute's a good dog. That's because Jack Daniels is getting cheap. I know the bourbon I buy still only comes in glass bottles only. Okay. Yeah, they do have cold noses. And actually, if they don't have a cold nose, typically it's a sign something's wrong. Yep. Pyrenees, that's right. That's what's the name of it. The Great Pyrenees. That's what Dad's got. One of his dogs is a Great Pyrenees, and it's a. I always forget that name, but uh, it's like two hundred pounds almost. He's a huge dog. Uh, you don't want to be nowhere near him because he usually rolls around in cow shit all the time, and he's usually bumping pretty good. 
So, uh, but super friendly around kids and stuff, and they watch after the livestock. So, why he got them? Uh, not particularly a uh, a livestock working breed, but they're just a protector breed for like sheep and other livestock cows. Right, and under fifty fifty dollars above. Right, everybody's going to plastic now. The uh. The good old glass. I just think it keeps things cooler. I remember the days. I know. Uh, I know PJ will probably remember, and uh, some of the others, the older folks in here will remember. I remember when two liter bottles were glass, and if you dropped one, it was a disaster everywhere. Uh, those two liter glass bottles for soda. Uh, we used to, we used to, you know, the way it was back then was way more green than what they're trying to pull now with all these plastic bottles and plastic bags. Uh, we turned in the soda bottles for 10 cents a piece or whatever. Uh, deposits, you, you got deposits on those. And, and if you find them laying around, you know, hey, I was just a kid. I'd go find all those bottles, take them to the store. And I typically have enough to buy me a new soda with or something or soda and a candy bar. Uh, the way it was back then was way better. You had the brown paper bags. You had the glass bottles. And the soda just tasted so much better out of the glass bottles. It was colder. When you put a glass bottle in the fridge, oh, my Lord, especially a good Coca-Cola or a Mountain Dew or something, man, it's just awesome. The plastic bottles are more convenient. They don't bust, but uh, yeah, you kind of lose a lot of that. Sorry, I had to go on a little rant there about uh, Marcus Mark's good, yeah. Uh, there's a liquor called Tin Cup. I've tried some of it. It's not bad. Tin Cup. That cheap shit I drink is 15 a handle. Any herd and breed makes a good watchdog. Absolutely, it does, KY. Absolutely. My drink is Maker Smart. Maker Smart. I pay for the extra because I don't want to get drunk and drink for flavor. Absolutely, she says. Me too, Joe. That's my drink. Uh, I don't drink anymore, but if I, you know, I mean, you know, I, I store alcohol for uh, tinctures and, uh, you know, painkiller. If somebody's broke their leg and they ain't got no kind of pain meds, I can hand them a little fifth of Jack Daniels and go, go at it, buddy. You know, or, you know, or I could just, if I see the end of the world's coming, just get drunk. And say, Lord, take me home, whatever. But I do store it. You know, I do have it in stock. But I don't, uh, I don't partake of it unless something's bad wrong. Because I don't want to go through the detox and all that crap again. Ugh. We used to walk several miles to get the, to the country store. We might only have a quarter, but sometimes we found some bottles along the way to turn in. Exactly, little long prepper. Exactly. And you remember the old Coke coolers were on the front porch of the uh, store, the old country stores. And uh, they had them glass tops. You slide that glass top over and reach down in that cooler and get you one of them cold glass bottle of Coke holders. Good Lord. Get you a moon pie and just go to town, son. I mean, it was wonderful. I love those days back then. If I was a rich man, uh, Pappy Van Winkle was the best ever I tasted. But who can afford it, right? Yeah. It always helps uh, when soak injuries in bourbon from the inside. I'm shocked you can even get a handle of 20 bucks here. Yep. Handle means half gallon, if y'all didn't know that. Uh, peanuts and a Pepsi is pretty dang good. I'm not a Pepsi person. Uh, we used to drink Pepsi. We used to drink nothing but Pepsi and Coca-Cola's around here, but 
Pepsi's done got where uh, it's either my taste of change or they've changed the Pepsi itself. But Pepsi is just way too sweet for me. And I know I drank Mountain Dews a lot like them, or the I drank the generic versions at Walmart, the Mellow Moon or whatever the hell it's called. Uh, but uh, the Pepsi is just it's just way too sweet for me nowadays. My taste has probably changed. Love me a moon pie always helps me reminisce of my childhood, right? Good old marshmallow and chocolate moon pie, man. It's hard to beat. If you can get one of the old foil type wrappers, I think they still sell them that way at Cracker Barrel. The old foil wrappers, the old Mylar wrappers they used to put on there, man, they were even better. She took that one home, Joe. Yeah. That's probably a forty dollar shot. Sun drop was the soft drink of choice here. Uh sun drop, sun kissed, uh grapey co. I think of a uh, new grape. There was a soda way back before my time called New Grape. Uh I've got the bottle. I collect soda bottles. I told you all about that a couple of times. But uh yeah, it was just the times when the glass bottles and, and all that, it was just a better time. You know, just didn't have a worry in the world back in. I wish I could go back to that time. My daddy loves Pepsi and salted peanut. Now, we made floats, put ice cream in a soda, like a soda float. or Yeah, I think it's called a soda float. Those were good. We put some vanilla ice cream and pour you some Coca-Cola over it. Really good. Fago. Yep, Penny Pitch Pepper likes Fago. Most won't believe it, but Richard Petty gave me my first Pepsi and peanuts when I was four years old. I believe it. Cherokee Red Pop was one of my favorites back in the day. Mm -hmm. uh, I used to, uh, every, you couldn't find it down here much, but when you found it, like, like if we went out of state, there was a soda called Moxie. M O X I E, I think. It was it was different. It was pretty good though. Moxie, I think, was the name of it. Glass bottle, yes, the glass was the best, absolutely. Grape knee high, yep, yep. The grape knee high. Uh, I always remember a radar on that. Give me a grape knee high and a shark glass or something like that. Yep, grape knee high was big. Racing dirt track racing, yes, that was huge back then. Dirt track racing, short track racing, absolutely. My thing was surge that stuff with my soda, and they killed it. We chewed on sassafras twigs and roots that taste like root beer, right? Uh, people around here used to smoke what they call rabbit tobacco. That stuff's nasty. But it's some stuff that grows in the wild, and when you see it, people usually recognize it. That's rabbit tobacco there. We never got popped till about the 70s. We got iced tea or horse hose water. Well, now, we didn't get pop on the regular when I was a kid. It was Kool-Aid or water or milk. That was our choices. Uh, very rarely would I get a soda as a kid. You know, maybe if I went somewhere with my grandmother, she'd buy me one. Uh, but she didn't go places much because she was 400 pounds. So, yeah, but... It, we got Cokes rarely when I was a kid. But once I got where I had my own money, or if I could collect enough bottles to get me one, oh, yeah, I was all about them. Root beer was originally made from uh, Sassafras. Sassafras. Sassafras tea. Yep. I don't really like soda. I grew up in a diabetic house, so diet only. I've actually heard diet soda was worse for you than the real thing, but I don't know if it's true or not. I was a poor kid, didn't get uh, Kool-Aid, had to deal with Flavor-Aid. Flavor-Aid wasn't bad. I like the orange Flavor-Aid was pretty good. And then there was another product called Orange-Aid that, Orange that I really liked. I think it was made by Coca-Cola Company. I like root beer, but it has to be good root beer. The darker, the better. Tang, yeah, we drank a lot of Tang back in them days. We're just on a trip back to the 70s, ain't we? 
No doubt soda, it's bad for you. That's what I always heard too. I always heard the diet soda is worse for you than the real thing. Aspartame causes dementia. There you go. We're not doctors or, you know, none of that, but yeah. I've heard that too. I've heard really bad things about aspartame. Some diet sodas have ingredients that increase hunger. Yes. Heard that as well. 70s was awesome. 80s was awesome too, but in a different way. Uh, but 70s, my childhood, I remember uh, me and dad would go dirt bike riding and just be gone all day. Uh, one of my favorite days with my dad. Another time, uh, he'd buy a new, uh, He'd buy a new uh, tractor in her too for a tractor tire on the big the big back tire on the tractor, and we'd patch up the old ones and use them to float in the creek with. Man, it's just good times, simple times back then. Nobody locked a door or a window, you know. It was just you didn't have to worry about people breaking in, and we were uh, me and my buddies as teenagers, we rode bicycles all up and down this road, never worried about somebody, you know, abusing us or something like that. It was just a whole different time. It was like a whole different planet, really, when you think about it. It really was. I still drink tang, especially when I get sick. I don't eat bologna ever now. Or sandwiches for school is mustard bologna. I don't eat bologna, or we call it bologna down here. I don't eat bologna a whole lot, but I do love fried bologna. Now, when you go and fry the bologna, it's really good. I love uh, fried bologna with fried eggs and, you know, all the, all the good stuff. True story, if it's be. I don't eat bologna. Yep. Uh, I love fried bologna. I see what Penny Prince of Pepper says. I love growing up in the 80s. You could still be free as a kid. Or on the streets. Just had to be home by the time street lamps came on. That's exactly right. Parents back then weren't going, weren't going to deal with having to holler for their kids and call them home. If that street light came home and you weren't there at least four minutes later, you were in big, big trouble. And if you left the house... You better leave a note, you know, people, uh, when I was a teenager, uh, you know, I had my, my, my first car, which was a 84 Volkswagen rabbit diesel piece of junk. But, uh, if I left, the, if they weren't there and I left to go somewhere, if I didn't leave a note, I got my ass tore up and I got my keys took away. So just a totally different time back then. Miss the eighties music was way better. Yeah. Music was, boy, don't get me going on that. We didn't have street lights. We had to listen to Paul for the whistle. Okay. Yeah, we didn't have street lights either, but we knew once it got dark, dark, you know, it was time to go home. Uh, there was one street light. There was a church not far from where I live, and the church had one street light. And if we were in the, anywhere in the vicinity of that church, I could see the street light on that church come on. I knew it was time to go home. But typically, when it got so dark, you couldn't see the mountains or whatever. Well, I grew up right here where, I, where I'm living now. I grew up right here. And if we couldn't see the mountains, we knew it was too dark to be out alone. So we we, we knew to go home. So, yeah. What's Joe saying that's yucky? Oh, God, I don't want to know. That's my oldest this is why I'm able to freeze. Okay. Everything was better. Still true. Uh, I wasn't here for the 80s. I don't know. Maybe that's why they were so great. No, I'm just kidding, Joe. <laughs> it was awesome, man. It was an awesome time. And uh, just roam around. I could get in this creek and wade this creek all the way up the valley. You know, you had to watch out for the cotton mouse, and the cotton mouse will chase you. They are aggressive, where other snakes will just run away from you for the most part. Cotton mouse will chase, but uh, you watch for the cotton mouse. But other than that, man, not a, not a problem anywhere. Yeah, Joe would have Joe would have been wild 
Buck Wild in the 80s, man. He would have. Wearing them parachute pants and uh, the denim jackets with the bleach thrown all over it. Uh, <laughs> we wore stuff like that all the time. Of course, you had to have your uh, your Metallica or your ACDC shirts on, you know. And, uh, yep, just a whole different time back in. The parachute pants with a zipper all over them. <laughs> And for all you baloney lovers, hold up. I got to see this about baloney. Walmart in their deli sells all beef bologna. That is absolutely delicious. Ask them to slice it. Slice it on number four. You won't regret it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm used to the Ziggler. The Ziggler's a company here. I don't know. It's probably everywhere. But I'm used to the Ziggler thick cut baloney. And it's just really good. Uh, and I've been buying that since since I've been buying food for myself. It's always good. The Ziegler Thick Cut. I haven't looked at the label lately, so I'm, they may be throwing crickets in it. I better check. Hammer Time. Oh, Lord, I remember that song, too. Can't touch this. Good all go. Take care. Uh, Cause P and chant blessings to all of you. God bless you with his diary. Yeah, I'll fix the shutter down here in a minute. It won't be long. We're at uh, an hour and four minutes. Uh, keep a head on swivel. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, see if I had been a motorhead guy. <laughs> yeah. Goodbye, PJ. Good to see you. T-shirt, leather jacket, jean jacket, vest with uh, band patches and Sharpie art. Yep. Yep. Had to have those uh, parachute pants with the zipper all over them like Michael Jackson back in the day. Back when we didn't all have cell phones. No, that's back when you got doled out quarters for uh, for pay phones or dimes, depending on where you were and what time, you know, what time of the century it was. There were still a few uh, phones that took dimes back in my kid's day, but or back in my childhood, but there weren't many around here. Most of them took quarters. But, uh, you know, Dad would say, I was getting ready to go somewhere, a girlfriend's house, whatever. You got some quarters in the car for the phone? I'm like, yes, sir, sure do. Or if I didn't, I'd say, I need some, you know. That's how it was back in them days. Uh-oh, more bologna talk here. Let me see. Tried beef bologna. It's okay. I ain't fancy lips and buttholes all around. But you just don't know what's good, Joe. I love uh, lips and buttholes and eyebrows and whatever you want to throw in there. Uh, brains. You want to talk about some, some sauce meat? Yeah, it's good, too. <laughs> Funky Cole Medina, you betcha, yep. Uh, see, I always ask you are uh, staying in town. See, I will always ask, are you staying in town and do you have your pistols? Yeah. Well, you know, you had that reputation, Joe. People knew, yep. Back in the day when I'd get handed a 410 pump, I had a 410 pump shotgun. And uh, Daddy would send me out. We need some squirrels or something to eat. We need we need some food on the table. He'd give me three or four shells. He said, it, it, you better bring back a squirrel for each one of these shots, for each one of these shotgun shells. I'd go out there and stay out there in the woods and squirrel hunt. If I come home with three instead of four, he, he, let, it, he let it slide. But you were sent with a, a certain number of shells, and each one of those had to represent a squirrel most of the time, or whatever it was you're hunting, because you, we didn't have money to just waste ammo. Most pay phones, I can remember, as long as uh, it was silver, you could talk. But if you had to stand and uh, feed it the whole time, yeah. I don't mess around with that funky. It's called Medina. <laughs> Tone Loke. 
It's crazy as I even remember who that is. Tone Luke. Wow, thing. Remember that, too? I lived in a bad area at a bad time. Yeah, Joe. Well, all right, y'all. It's been a great live. Uh, I'm going to go outside and see what the weather's doing. Probably walk to the mailbox. Stuff like that. Check on the doggies. Well, they're right here. Uh, God bless y'all. Have a good day. Let's uh, let me get over here. Let's hit this right here. Romans 12, 21. Be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. It's Holy Week. Go to church. You know, if the Holy Spirit uh, tells you to go, then you should go. Uh, all the other gods has been worshipped. Uh, Allah, Buddha, and all them are all in the grave somewhere. But my Lord Jesus Christ, he is risen. He's sitting on the right hand of the Father, and that's in the position of authority. So y'all just remember that. Uh, and uh, have a blessed day, what's left of it. Uh, keep your situation awareness. Keep your head on a swivel. Pack. Prep when you can. If you're prepped up as best you know how, get you a little bit of that. And ain't going to kill you. Have some savings and emergency funds. A little cash on the hands good, too. So uh, God bless y'all. This is the FSP. Blessings to you all. God bless you is my prayer. We're gone. We're out.